Hello, welcome to Tequila Reviews and More. Today we're going to review a new kind of drink. It's actually uh, called Crema de Tequila. Now this pink bottle that you have here, um, it's a great addition to our already, um, you know, regular bottles, the, the bubblegum tequila that I, that I infuse myself. Um, check out the video if you if you want to know how we how we make that. So here I have a, a Crema de Tequila called 1921 uh, La Crema de Mexico. Okay, so this bottle we were able to get it uh, from one of from the last time we went on a cruise at one of the ports. I kept on seeing it in Mexico at the airports and stuff like that. Now, a couple things about this one: it is not a 40% uh, alcohol volume uh, to to volume. It's actually a 15%. So it's more like a like a wine. Now, um, the, the the liquid inside is not pink. It's actually a light brown, almost like a coffee like a coffee color. You know, coffee and cream. Um, it has a, cons a milky consistency, almost like a, a rompope, but you know, but a little bit more uh, watery. Rompope is a little bit thicker. So we have a light brown. Um, now it smells like a light tequila, maybe with some with some with some cream, kind of like a coffee and cream would be. This is what this one here, but it does get you the, the little hint of uh, of tequila. So. Um, I was first introduced to, to something like this a couple years back from a, from, from a friend of mine. Uh, one of the one of the videos is here also with the crema de tequila. Um, now, let's go ahead and, and try this one out. Now, like we said, it was a 15% um, alcohol um, volume. So it's a very smooth drink. Um, I believe this drink might be great over ice maybe even blended. I wouldn't add any more mix of, of, of other drinks on this one here, just as is, maybe on ice, like I said. But um, let's see what we give it for numbers. Now, keep in mind, this is a crema and not a regular tequila. For the aromas, you get a lot of vanilla um, in it, so I would say a 20 out of 25. For the flavor, it's a very smooth, because it's not you know high, high alcohol volume uh, to, to volume, and it's a 27 out of 30. For the finish, it's very smooth finish, a 21 out of 25. Would I drink it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Uh, especially to people that, that are very starting to, to drink tequila. And the value, I'm gonna say about a seven out of 10. The reason it's, that it's a seven out of 10 is because, um, you know, for, for it not being that much alcohol, it's it's pretty expensive. I'm gonna say it was around the $30, $30 to uh, purchase it. Uh, maybe you guys can find it for, for less than that. but. If you get to see this bottle, I believe it comes in pink and blue uh, at the airports and stuff like that. Uh, check it out. It's definitely worth, worth uh, buying and enjoying.